Hello and welcome to video 4 of uh, the Connecting Rod Assembly Series presented by ESA Core and brought to you by MSE Software. In this video I will be showing you Apex's hex meshing capabilities and its ability to update the mesh with geometry changes. Now first we're going to focus on the articulating rod so we're going to right click and go show only and we're also going to set current so that way if we make any geometry changes it'll be updated into the group next we're going to go to meshing uh, 2.5D meshing and as you can see right now we're unable to mesh this part because the way Apex's 2.5D meshing system works is that top and bottom surfaces as you can see from this little pop-up must be exactly the same so cylinders, uh, cubes, those will work perfectly fine. And if you look at this, use your imagination a little bit, you can see that we can accomplish this task. And to do this, we're going to do a little modification to the geometry. So we're going to go to the geometry edit tools, and we're going to use the split tool. And the split tool method, we're going to go split using surface, and we're going to use the partition tool. Now the partition tool will separate these bodies without separating the bodies. Now what that means is it, when I mesh this, after I separate the bodies, they will still the meshes will still be talking to each other. This will be seen as one complete part. But if I separate and go and split, then each one of these individual portions that I split will be their own separate bodies and their own separate meshes, and they will not be uh, communicating to each other. So we want all of this to communicate with itself but being split up at the same time. So this is where the partition tool comes in. And I'm going to click on the cells so that way once I split them I will be focusing on only the pieces that I have split. I'm also going to put on the uh, 2.5D color display. This will also verify to me that the parts that I split are indeed hex meshable. So like the hex mesher showed me, everything right now is not hex meshable. So I'm going to select the connecting rod, middle mouse button, separate these two surfaces, and now I have three bodies with two of them, top and bottom surfaces, exactly the same. So those parts are hex meshable. Now we need all of it to be hex meshable, so we're going to have to do the same with the inner portion as well. So since we need up uh, top and bottom surfaces uh, to be matching, we're going to use these inner surfaces as the splitting surfaces. So now we have a completely hex meshable part. And now that we have this completely hex meshable, we can back out of this, go to the meshing tool, 2.5D meshing, I set the setting to 0.1 inches. Uh, the rest is at default. And go ahead and select my part. And there you go. We have a nice hex meshed part. Next, I'm going to show you how the geometry updates, uh, the mesh updates as the geometry changes. Um, to do this, I'm going to use the push pull tool. And we're going to sort of simplify this geometry a little bit and get rid of these fillets. And to do that, I'm going to use the up to option and click the fillet, and I want it to be in line with the connecting rod. So as you can see, the fillet was removed and the mesh was updated at the same exact time. This saves a lot of time when trying to uh, change geometry. So that way you don't have to delete your mesh, change your geometry, and then remesh. It's all done at the same step. I'll do it again here rid of the fillet, make it in line with this, and completely re-update it. Now, say your customer wanted to uh, increase the thickness of material for the connecting rod hole. Well, we can do that as well, and the mesh will update, and we just undo the up to portion, and we can either type in a value, or we can drag. So type in value would be 0 0.5, make it a little wider.
wider or we can go the opposite direction and make it 0.3 and make it a little thicker. In this case a lot thicker or we can drag and have a value there. But either way, however you do it, your mesh will be automatically updated with the geometry which will save a lot of time when needing to run an analysis uh, back to back with just minor changes. And that concludes this video.